สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a It's Tuesday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day out there. You're watching Phuket Extra, brought to you by PBCPhuket.com. The commander of the Phuket Provincial Police has come forward to explain that police are now investigating the report by a Canadian tourist that he was violently mugged by five men. According to a report by the Phuket Info Center released yesterday, the tourist who was attacked was a 28-year-old named William l a m a r c h St. Louis, a Canadian national who suffered a broken nose in the attack that took place at about 2 a.m. on February 11th in p a t o n g He was attacked by a group of five men following an argument, according to police, that took place at a local restaurant where the victim allegedly refused to pay a bill. How the five men became involved in the argument was not explained. The report made no mention of whether police had actually questioned any of the suspects. According to the report, Major General s e r p a n s i r i k o n g has said that police must now wait for Mr. l a m a r c h St. Louis to return to Phuket from his trip to p p Island before they can proceed with the investigation. The report posted yesterday made no mention of any investigation into the claim by the tourist that he reported the mugging to a p a t o n g police officer on patrol nearby immediately after the attack, but that the officer refused to help. It was also not explained why the commander of the Phuket Provincial Police was required to explain the actions of a p a t o n g police officer instead of the p a t o n g police chief himself. The public response to the incident has come only after local ties posted online calls for police to help the tourist, with the comments starting to go viral on popular local social media pages. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. The driver of a Phuket van was caught gambling online while driving, and he's now been fined 2,000 baht and has had his driver's license suspended for 90 days. The action came after a clip was posted online showing the driver Suranat Aduman. Using his mobile phone while driving from Phuket Town to p a t o n g the post pointed out that Suranat was playing online slot machines all along the journey. The passengers were afraid that they would be in an accident and that using the phone while driving was dangerous. Suranat was called to present himself at the Phuket Land Transport Office on Monday. And officials say that while the video posted online didn't clearly show what the man was playing while driving, he was fined and had his license suspended for using his phone while driving. Suranat said that he played the game on his phone for quote only a moment and then hung up while driving tours from r a s a d a p i r to p a t o n g For more, visit the phuketnews.com. Loma l u k b u m i the Bangtao Muay Thai and MMA based fighter here in Phuket, and the only Thai national in the world's premier MMA promotion, the UFC, won her latest fight this past weekend at UFC 284, earning her first submission victory of her career. The 27 year old Buriram native, a longtime Muay Thai fighter who trains under the watchful eye of George Hickman at Bangtao MMA, entered her seventh UFC fight on Sunday, the 11th fight of her career. She beat Elise Reed in their straw weight clash in Perth, Australia on Sunday, winning the fight in the second round with a rear naked choke, the first submission win of her career. Loma, currently the only Thai national in the UFC, is on a two fight winning streak. The victory improved her overall record to eight wins and three losses. The UFC 284 card was headlined by a champion versus champion clash between lightweight champion Islam a k a c h e v and featherweight champion and consensus number one ranked pound for pound fighter Alexander Volkanovsky, who is vying for m a k a c h e v s title. Part of Volkanovsky's training camp for the fight took place at Bangtao Muay Thai and MMA here on the island. The fight was instantly considered one of the greatest in MMA history, but ultimately, Makachev retained his lightweight title by a decision after five hard fought rounds. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. Two French tourists were finally found after they were lost while walking on a forested mountain in Phuket on Sunday night. The pair had arrived in Phuket on Sunday and checked into a hotel near the airport. Then they went for a walk on a local beach and followed a trail up the mountain, but were unable to find their way back. They called tourist police number 1155 through WhatsApp at about 10 p.m. on Sunday. The couple were found by a search team at about 12 30 a.m. on Monday, waiting in the dark on the mountain. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. 
A series of misconduct cases have rocked the Royal Thai Police in recent months and has prompted the Prime Minister, Prayut chan -cha, to admit that police corruption has been ongoing for years and that stakeholders must make a concerted effort to clean up the police force in Thailand. The Premier was responding to questions regarding two senior police officers who are accused of being behind an online multi-billion baht gambling network, which is just the latest in a series of misconduct allegations against the Royal Thai Police, according to the Bangkok Post. Last week, media firebrand Chuvit Kamol Visit said the Macau 888 online gambling network had about 5.5 billion baht in circulation, which was relatively small compared with another gambling network run by Inspector Sua and General Joel of the Royal Thai Police. The pair allegedly used their connections to run the network with 10 billion baht in circulation. Prayut said yesterday that the authorities are investigating the activities of the two officers. He said he's made it clear that those who are found in the wrong must face legal and disciplinary action. The Royal Thai Police has faced a series of black eyes over recent weeks and months, including providing VIP escorts for Chinese tourists for certain fees, a case involving alleged extortion of a Taiwanese actress, and another similar case in Pattaya. Asked if the government will press ahead with police reforms before his term ends, the Prime Minister said a National Policing Act began to take effect recently. It introduced new rules governing the police force in line with the National Reform Plan. For more, visit the Phuket News. Com. Thank you so much for joining us here on this Tuesday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure, bricks-and-mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.